Hi, this is Katie. It is 1030 at night. You guys, I did so much today. I had a really, really good day today. I went for a walk this morning. Um, I ran a ton of errands. I got a bunch of work done, made some good food. Did I record any of it? No. Mm -mm. No, you're getting 1030 at night, about to go to bed, Katie, today. Um, so one of the things that I did was that I put, remember if you watched my last video um, or my last like vlog from last week, I mentioned that I got like a like a really thick mattress pad and I was sleeping on that on the floor because it was more comfortable than the futon that was in this room. Um, and uh, I was saying that I might think about putting it on top of the futon. And so I did that and I made my bed and all the little bubbas are hanging out, um, but it's less comfortable on the futon. So the futon does not make a good box spring, but I like having more access to my floor um, because a lot of you guys know, but maybe, maybe you don't. So I'm staying at my friend's house right now, my best friend's house uh, in Nashville, and I've been here for like five months or something at this point. But the room that I'm staying in still has some of his stuff in it. It was his office before it was my bedroom. And so that's why I don't really show you like around the room a lot because it's not all my stuff. Um, but also just on top of that, I have my stuff in this room too. So having this mattress on the floor basically made it that there was like no other floor room. So I'm gonna keep it on here. I just moved it yesterday, um, slept on it once. It was eh, it wasn't horrible, but it was eh. It was definitely better than the futon by itself but like not as good as just the mattress on the floor. Wow, this is a really long conversation for no reason. Anyway, <laughs> I put the little mattress on the futon. I'm gonna see how that works because it'll save me space and I'll have more room on the floor to do, you know, cartwheels and stuff. I, I don't have any room in here to do cartwheels, but uh, anyway, I also can't do a cartwheel. Do you guys see that video from like at this point almost a year ago, Kelsey and I went to Asheville, I think, and we had a cartwheel competition and Kelsey's like a dancer, like a trained dancer. I think she was a dancer in like high school, right Kels? So she can do a cartwheel perfectly and I did like a half a cartwheel, hurt my ankle, it was a mess. That was in a video though from like a year ago. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, as you can tell, it's like 10.30 at night and I usually go to bed anywhere between 11 and one or whatever, but I like want to be asleep right now. Like I feel like I had a really productive day. Um, I wanna go to sleep now cause I wanna wake up pretty early to do some more work, but like I'm not tired, but I wanna be sleepy. What a predicament. <laughs> I'm just gonna lie down. Um, I might watch, no, you know what? Maybe I'll read, maybe I'll read. I feel like I haven't read a book in a minute. <laughs> um, maybe I'll read and uh, hopefully fall asleep pretty soon because I wanna wake up tomorrow like 7.30 or 8, which I know is not very early for most people, but uh, for me, the last like couple months, I've been waking up very late, um, and I want to get back into the habit of waking up a little bit earlier, and I have a lot of work to do in the morning, but anyway, I'm going to lie down with the boys, biscuit, cornbread, oh, I named him Ollie, this guy, where's his face? I named him Ollie. Um, if you saw, I went to the aquarium like a month ago in Chattanooga um, and I got him there and his name is Ollie, Ollie the Otter. Um, anyway, I'm gonna hang out with these boys. Let's see what book I wanna read. Do I wanna read like a, like a fiction book or nonfiction book? Those are the options. Um, I'm looking at my books right now. I'll just show you, hold on. Here's my, my uh, little pile of books that I have. This is where I also keep like my masks and like my extra glasses. So that's that mess. Anyway, so I have some like Christian books, um, some like leadership books, um, a John Green book. I, you know what? I've never read this one. So John Green's one of like my favorite authors. Um, Paper Town, Looking for Alaska are my favorite books and The War of Art, which is not John Green. Um, it's by Stephen Pressfield. This is like a motivational kind of book and it's incredible. But Looking for Alaska and Paper Towns are the books that I've had those for years and I will not get rid of them. When I'm in the car, I really only keep like three or four books. I'll really just keep these three. So it's been in the last year or so because you know I was in Charleston for about seven months and I've been here for about five. So I've basically been in an apartment for a year now, which is wild. And I'll talk about that at some point. I'll make like a comparison video or updating you on my thoughts about like living in an apartment. But anyway, when I'm in the car, I really just have like these three books and like my Bible and maybe one or two other books, not really. So all of these I have purchased in the last year. But anyway, 
So I have, yeah, all those. And then, um, but I have this one to go back to the John Green story is that I've read all of his books except for Turtles All the Way Down. And I have it and then I don't know why I haven't read it. So maybe I'll read that one. Um, and then I also, <laughs> You guys, this is how nerdy I can be, and I'm not sure that you know this side of me, but I have a math book and an American history book. <laughs> that, I think these are, they're my big fat notebooks. They're geared towards, I think, middle school? I think like middle school. Um, they have like a science one too that I kinda wanna get, but anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to read Turtle All The Way Down. Let's see if I can do this with one hand, or is this dangerous? I almost dropped my camera. Wow, that was <laughs> the opposite of what I thought was gonna happen. You guys, I did it. Ha ha. I apparently also only got this for six bucks. All right, I'm gonna read this, or some of it, and I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, bye, good night. All right, boys, you ready? Ready for cuddle time? That's the most single thing I could have said. I am so single that I'm like talking to my stuffed animals about cuddling and none of them are even looking at me. <laughs> okay, bye. So it is about 11.45 and I'm sleepy. I did it, I'm finally tired. Uh, actually, when I closed the camera a little while ago or like over an hour ago, um, I started working <laughs> and I worked for a little bit and then I read a little of the book and it's good so far. John Green is like consistently a good author in my opinion, I like how he writes. So I just read a little bit of that because now I am tired and so I'm gonna shut the lights off. I'm holding my glasses so they don't like fall on my face, you know, you know what I mean? if you wear glasses, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna shut the light off. I'm gonna go to sleep. And I'm gonna hopefully wake up kind of early to uh, get some more work done. Boys, say goodnight. Good night, guys. Hey guys, I just recorded um, the video that I posted this past Tuesday. Um, so that's why it's the same exact angle and same clothes and everything. So I just finished recording that video. I'm sitting in the car. I lost my tripod again. <laughs> oh no, it's right here. I just found, okay. Cause I brought my tripod uh, from the house to the car because I was going to set it up and then I just decided to hold it to be a little more like relaxed and chilled out. Um, and then I just went to find it <laughs> to make sure that I didn't lose it and then I misplaced it for 20 seconds. I don't know what it is with me and that tripod. Maybe the next tripod I buy I need to make sure it's like bright yellow or something um, so that it sticks out because this just blends in with everything else that I own. <laughs> Anyway, hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? Um, I went to the post office this morning and I really appreciate it. If you work in shipping, I appreciate you so much. They are so busy and they're working so hard and they're still being so nice. Like the person who helped me today was just like being really, really cool. Like we were chatting about like blue blocker glasses and stuff. Like he was being really cool. Um, and so I appreciate all you guys who have a more stressful time right now. Um, especially in work, but everyone's more stressed right now. I know that, but I appreciate all of you. I just want to tell you. Um, okay, I'm going to go home and I'm gonna edit and I should probably eat. What time is it? 10 o'clock. I haven't eaten yet. That's not that late. Sometimes I don't eat till one. <laughs> depends, it totally depends. But I feel like, okay, let me know in the comments. If you're one of those people who can like kind of tell like, Okay, if I don't eat in the next hour, I'm gonna get real angry. <laughs> like, your mood will just change. I'm not always one of those people, but pretty often. Like, if I start to get hungry and I don't eat in the next, like, hour or so, I will get very, like, agitated. Like, I will let me know if you're the same. But that's why I always have snacks with me. <laughs> to try to like drastically decrease the probability of that happening. I always have snacks. Uh, but right now I'm starting to get a tiny bit hungry. So I'm not at that level yet. But maybe like when I go home, I will uh, make a little snack or something while I edit. I kind of want a sandwich. Do I want a salami sandwich for breakfast? <laughs> you guys know me. I do not care what time of day it is. I don't think that foods have a specific time of day. So you know how a lot of people like breakfast for dinner? I like dinner for breakfast. I'll have chicken fingers and fries at 9.30 in the morning. I don't care. Anyway, I'm gonna go home. I'm like hyper today. Okay, bye. Yeah, it's been said There's a cure for a heavy head Heaven forbid it Instead, I wanna make it safe to go to bed Hey guys, uh, you're on my phone. That's why it might sound weird or look weird or something. Um, Hi, so 
this story that I'm about to tell you is so dumb. If you don't want to hear a story about yarn, just click over the next two minutes. Um, but you know that yarn that I showed you? Oh, I'm eating tuna. <laughs> By the way, um, you know that yarn I showed you in last week's video, that like blue teal velvet yarn? So when my mom watched that video, she's like, oh, I love that yarn. So I'm going to save that yarn to make her something out of it. And to make her what I wanted to make her, I need another couple balls of that yarn. So I went to the store. They didn't have it. They had one. And I really, I could get away with one, but I really wanted like three. And so I asked someone who worked there. I'm like, do you know if, you know, a different um, store has it or whatever? So they said, um, yeah, that, you know, a different one, like 15 minutes away had like three. At least that's what their stock said. So I said, okay. And then, so I drove to that store and I went in and I could not for the life of me find the yarn. I could not at all. It was super, super busy. I couldn't even find anyone to ask. I didn't really want to bother anyone. Um, but if I saw someone, I would have asked, but I did not see anyone who worked there. Um, and I could not find that yarn for the life of me. I could not find it. So I came back in the car and I looked online just to see if, you know, it came in stock online. Cause I, even online it's out of stock. Like I can't order it online. And I really do want just a couple more. Came back in my car, looked it up online, um, and it said I could order it for in-store pickup. And it said they had two left. So I ordered it online, I paid, and then it just said, okay, we'll let you know when it's ready. So instead of going home and coming back out, I'm just waiting here. <laughs> and I got hungry, so I'm eating some tuna. This is Starkist, uh, Tuna Cretion's Bold Jalapeno. I like the jalapeno, it's fine. It's like hit or miss, like whatever, but my favorite is the sweet and sour. It's my favorite, it's so good. It's so good, the sweet and sour one. Um, I like the lemon pepper one too, that one's good, but the sweet and sour, oh, I'll eat that every meal for the rest of my life. I mean, I don't love it over like in and out or anything, but like if I had to pick tuna <laughs> in a pouch, it would be the sweet and sour. I love that one. Anyway, um, I'm in this, I got hungry. It's like three. I have Cheetos, puffy Cheetos. And I figured I would sit in my car and wait for a little bit. They didn't give me like a time frame or anything. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to wait here for, you know, half hour or something. Because I like hanging out in my car anyway. So I'll wait here for a half hour, an hour. And if um, I don't get a notification, uh, maybe I'll just go home and come back if they notify me later. But I hope that they have it. Because either it was that they do have it and it's just like hidden somewhere. Or someone misplaced it. Someone picked it up and then moved it. Or it's just like in their stock room or something. Or that they don't have it. And they didn't update their online like stock thing. I don't know which it is. So I'm crossing my fingers. <laughs> I hope that they have it so that I can make this thing for my mom. And then I still wanted to make a blanket out of that yarn for you guys. But since this color is uh, like super popular right now, I guess, I'm not gonna be able to make something out of that color because I wanna use all the ones that I have for my mom. Um, but I was able to find another really pretty color in like enough that I can still make another blanket. So hold on, let me show you. I'm not going to touch it with my Cheeto fingers. Don't worry. Well, it's right here. Have you seen this little thing this whole time? It's this. Hold on. One like came a little unraveled. Anyway, it's this color, which comes off a little like pinky purple, but it's not. It's taupe. It's a taupey gray. It has like a, like a tiny bit, like a 1% like purple hue, but it's definitely taupey gray. Um, I'll show you like inside with different lighting or whatever, but it's very, very pretty, um, very soft. <laughs> so this is gonna be the blanket that I sell in January. It's gonna be out of that yarn. I'm gonna go so I can keep checking my email to see if they have the yarn or not. This is my excitement of the day. Do they have the yarn or not? I'll keep you guys updated because I'm sure you guys are equally as curious. Hey guys, so first and foremost, to update you, uh, they did not have my yarn at that store, which is fine because I think there's another store that I can go to that has it, um, but they did not have it there. So I'm still on the hunt for this blue yarn. So I want to take my makeup off. It's bedtime-ish. I don't know what time it is. Oh, no, it's 9.20. <laughs> Last night it was what 10 30 and I like wasn't tired at all and I just like wanted to be tired and whatever and tonight it's 9 21 It's 9 22 and I'm like, oh, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. So hey Um, but today was a pretty oh i'm gonna like take my makeup off and stuff while I'm talking to you guys I'm using the simple 
micellar ones. No, these are the water boost. The simple, either in the white packaging or the green packaging, I like. They kind of um, work the same for me. But anyway, today was a pretty good day, like pretty productive. I did a bunch of work, a bunch of editing, and I, you know, ran some errands, had my yarn thing. Um, and then I came home and I just made, <laughs> I was gonna record it and I totally forgot. I made another salami and cheese sandwich for dinner. <laughs> with a salad i had that with a salad but um it's just salami and cheese day i guess but yeah and then i watched what movie oh i watched the wedding planner tonight and then i started to watch the ghost of girlfriend's past or something which is another matthew mcconaughey movie and it was not good i watched the first like 20 minutes or so and i shut it off that was just not a good movie um but yeah and i did a little bit of crocheting and now i'm going to bed but it was a good day Oh, and if anyone's curious, this is my Reign of Kindo shirt. Reign of Kindo is my favorite band. They have been since I was 21. Um, and this is just one of their shirts, Kindo. Hi, sorry, I went to wash my face quick. Usually I just use a face wipe, which I know is not like super ideal for your skin, but uh, that's what I usually do. And uh, tonight I just felt like washing it as well. But anyway, I'm going to put on my ordinary uh, niacinamide. Just where I have breakouts or I'm prone to breakouts, which is like the bottom half of my face and my jawline. And then I don't have my glasses on. I cannot see anything. Where's my face cream? All right. Well, I was trying that um, like the day and nighttime moisturizer from Pacifica and I used it for like a week, I guess. And then I don't know where it is, but this one was in reach. This is the Crystal Youth one. Um, I used this one once, one other time that I couldn't place the um, the other one. And then you guys know I'm on the hunt for an eye cream, but I do have a couple here that I want to use um, before I purchase anything new. And I have a little trial of the Tatcha melting eye cream. That I think this was like a 100 point perk at Sephora or something. So I wanna use this up. And then I have one from The Ordinary and one from, what is that brand? Why can't I think of that brand? Uh, Biosets, <laughs> I have one from them as well. But a lot of you guys, I think I mentioned my last Friday video and a bunch of you guys gave suggestions. So if you're also looking for an eye cream, go look at that video. Cause a lot of you guys like gave good suggestions. All right, that's it. Oh, well, you know that's not actually it. Jouer Lip Enhancer. Jouer, by the way, is spelled J-O-U-E-R. I've realized that like sometimes I'll just say it in passing and like I wouldn't know how to spell that either. This is my favorite lip balm uh, ever. It's expensive, but I love it. And it's gluten-free, which I like. I'm gonna get in bed. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys, just got home from running some errands and I went to my PO box and I don't know if I told you the story yet. I, um, oh, that was rough light. There we go, hi. Um, so, hold on, let me see. Let's sit and chat for a second. Um, so during all the Thanksgiving sales, like the Black Friday sales, um, I ordered a coach bag for myself. And it was from like the outlet, it was like super on sale and, um, did I leave it in the other room? I took the box and I didn't bring the bag. Hold on one second, hold on, sit here. Talk to the voice. Hold on, hold on. Boys, were you being nice to our friends? Okay, so I ordered a coach bag what, like three weeks ago at this point and it said it got delivered last Friday, but it said it got delivered in Laverne. And Laverne is is a part of like Middle Tennessee. It's just like a town or two outside of Nashville, but it's definitely not where my PO box is. And so I was like, huh, I wonder where it is. Cause it like said delivered in Laverne. And again, that's not where my PO box is. And so I was like, I wonder where it is. And so it said, um, you know, like give it a couple days. If it says delivered and it's not actually there, give it a couple days. So I gave it until like Monday or Tuesday and then I emailed coach and I was just like, oh, I just wanted to let you know my package says delivered, but it ended up somewhere else. You know, like what do we do now? 
and I didn't hear back from them, but then today, it showed up at my P.O. box. So I have no idea how. I don't know how that happened. I guess uh, maybe wherever it got delivered, they're like, oh wait, this is not for us. And so like they, you know, put it back in the mail or whatever. But anyway, I got it and I wanted to open it and show you guys. Hold on, let's put you on the tripod. That I know where it is. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> So I'm wearing a jacket that I got last year um, from a store that Kelsey worked at uh, when we both lived in Charleston. It's just one of these like, I don't know if this counts as like a teddy bear coat. Also, I have like fuzz all over me, all over me. Don't mind that. I need to like lint roll myself. Anyway, so I love purses. Um, I used to have a ton. If my mom is watching this, she can let you guys know that when I was younger, I probably had like I don't know, like 20 purses or something, because I loved bags. But then when I started traveling more um, and started living in my car, as much as I still liked purses, you know, I was okay only having a couple. And I think you guys might know that I love um, like fanny packs and I like to wear them cross body. I have two, I have two coach ones. And I just saw this one and I'm like, I wanna get that one as well. Again, it was like Black Friday sale from the outlet. Um, so it was pretty inexpensive for a coach bag, but, um, Look how cute. Look how cute it has little like dinosaur mouths on it. My camera just shut off, which makes me nervous that I wasn't recording this whole time, was I? I hope so. Anyway, I got a new coach bag and I wanted to unbox it. Here you go, look. So this is what it looks like. I'm probably gonna wear it cross body. So let me take this off so I can show you. I have. This is my third Coach fanny pack. I love them. I love them. I love them. They're all from the Coach outlet, but the other two I got last year, I think. Um, and I still love them, but I just saw this one and I thought it was so cute. Because look, just look at these mouths. I think they're dinosaur mouths. Coach does a lot of like dinosaur stuff. So I think they're supposed to be dinosaur mouths. Um, but it's like the waxed canvas. Um, I guess I'll just rip all this off so I can show you what it looks like. This has like the bright purple zippers, which I thought was fun. Oh, and it has a, like one of these kind of things. That's cool. There we go. So I would wear it like this. And I, obviously I would take the tag off, but I just wanna like look at it first before um, I take the tag off. But that's cute. This is cute. Or I mean, I might wear it like this, kind of depending like what I'm doing. If I'm just like running around, I need my hands. But if I'm like walking, I like to have my purse like close to me. This is cute. This is really cute. And so it has this little front zipper. And this top zipper is just this way as well. It doesn't like go around this way. I think the other ones I have go around like the front, but this just is right on top. I think that's cute. I think that's really, really cute. I'm excited. But yeah, so it got lost in Laverne and uh, I did not expect to get it because I didn't even hear back from them. But I guess just whoever, you know, received it in Laverne was like, oh, this is not for me. I don't want this. I don't want this little dinosaur purse, <laughs> but it's really cute. I mean, obviously they're like the coach sees, you know, but they have little teeth. <laughs> I think it's really cute. I like in my head, it's di a dinosaur mouth. That's what it is in my head. Um, but anyway, I thought it was really cute. I like it. Um, okay, cool. I'm gonna clean up this mess I just made. Okay, now I think I'm just gonna end the video here. I'm gonna go back to crocheting for a little bit, I think. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed uh, another another episode of Vlogmas hanging out with me this week. I hope that you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram as well. All right, thank you again so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.